Mr. Riley Marston. Hey, how are you? Welcome back, Riley. sir. Come here, the corner, darling. Oh, this is Mrs. Riley Marston. Mrs. Marston. Welcome. <laughs> nice to see you both. Yeah. Thank you. So, Riley. Mm-hmm. The coming of Tan. The coming of Tan. Coming to Kindle. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you can go to Kindle, Amazon Kindle, and get the book now. It's cheap. And uh, then you can put it on your computer, your iPod, your iPad, your I do and I don't, or whatever. You know. I hate you, I know. Now, just as importantly, you haven't spoken to Howard in a long while. It's been a long time. Oh, uh, so we're going in? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, these are uh, these are my crew. Uh, that's uh, Matt Panther. That that's my white yeah. son. My white son from uh, Hey guys. Georgia, and this is Good to be here. Ron McCauley. He know me. And this is my driver, Al Soprano Trabuco. Hello. How are you? <laughs> how are you? How you doing? Riley. Mm. So do you look forward to seeing Howard, or do you have a do you have a beef with him today? Well, I mean, uh, you would think that after six years plus on the air, that ultimately they will cut me some kind of slack and give me a little more than one stinking hour at the midnight hour every week and what have you. The show is very popular and I think it's definitely a valuable asset to Sirius XM. And uh, I have diligently, uh, you know, worked continuously and uh, I should think that it's about time now, simply because I don't think you have anybody else working for you for seven years and don't even give them a cost of living break or anything of that nature. So I think that's rather shitty. You understand? Absolutely. Well, yeah. Perhaps today you can really state your claim and Howard will listen to you. Perhaps today well, hope, today. Let's say hopefully so. Uh, I wish the gentleman well. I consider him a friend of mine. Nonetheless, he has not reciprocated to me in all of this time. And uh, uh, I don't know why. You know, I may be a bit abrasive at times. But as my wife can tell you, I have the most sweetest and dulcet personality that you're ever going to run into and all that. Heavens forbid uh, that I should say something, you know, uh, like, hey man, why are you being a cheap ass Jew or something like that? Heavens forbid I should say that. Uh, nonetheless, I look forward to talking to him today, okay? All right, Riley, good luck today. Yeah. Riley Martin has been a part of our show. There's a strange thing that Riley's show now has been on the channels, I think, the longest, right? Out of, of any. Yeah, of I think it was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, and it's weird because the show now has morphed into people just calling up and making phony phone calls to Riley. Yeah, nobody really listens to the babble about <laughs> other worlds. Yeah, nobody, I think, cares about aliens. the end of this one. I think everyone's heard that alien story a million <laughs> times. So here, like, here's some samples of what's going on on Riley's show. Here's Franklin in New Jersey. Hello, Franklin in New Jersey. Hey, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Franklin. Hey, I was wondering if you were going to address uh, all these prank callers on the Howard Stern show tomorrow, if you are still going on. And yeah. I was also wondering um, <laughs> if uh, if your New Year's resolution is to keep ripping people off and to keep sucking Iran and Matt Pan. Yeah, well, off. I mean, <laughs> no, no a... what I'm saying, uh, but, but uh, if that is your New Year's resolution... Uh, you keep doing that, son, but only do it with another adult, okay? Idiot. Next call, mm -hmm. this is Gary in New Mexico. Hello, Gary in New Mexico. Yeah, I was thinking, like, for resolutions, you should really stop sucking Eron's cock. Yeah, uh, yeah, right, right, right. And you should uh, try to go and eat Carl Rose poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so, it, and, and it goes on all night. Mm -hmm. All right, next call, this is Roy in Texas. Hello, Roy in Texas. Hey, Riley. Hey, did you get uh, drunk on New Year's Eve or are you too busy drinking Eron semen? Uh, well, uh, no, no, but uh, <laughs> you keep on doing that, son. But I'll just stick to my Miller Light beer, okay? Idiot. Next call, this is Brad in Phoenix. Hello, Brad in Phoenix. Happy New Year, friend Riley. Happy New Year, uh, Eron. Happy New Year, Brad. Happy New Year. I just had a question. Uh, do the Biavians uh, celebrate New Year's, or is it the same way that you do, by sucking a bunch of cards? Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> no, no, that's what you do. Oh, my goodness. 
So anyway, uh, it's turned into quite the fun <laughs> fest, that hour or so that Riley does. And anyway, here's Riley, and he has an entourage with him of about six people today. What? There he is. There's Riley and his, his gorgeous, wife. His gorgeous yeah. wife. Gorgeous wife. Anyone who thinks Riley can't get hot chicks is sadly mistaken. You are a beautiful, beautiful woman. You really are. you look are. sane. And, yeah, and you look normal <laughs> and everything. I mean, hot. Wow, how does that happen? I mean, I would make love to you beautifully. I really I, would. I would. <laughs> I would make beautiful love to you. Are you 100% human or are you from another planet? <laughs> well, that's, uh, that, that no, is, I'm 100 percent human. You're 100 percent human. And mm -hmm. when, uh, how did Riley get such a gorgeous woman like you? Everyone thinks Riley can't get the beautiful. I mean, you're a beauty. Well, thank you, Howard. But right, Riley. I mean, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, otherwise, Howard, miraculous things happen. When you mess with the space cowboy. Synchronicity. A lot of people can't believe I got a beautiful woman to well, marry that's me. That's what I'm saying. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm saying. But now. I have to tell you, Howard, it was um, because of your show when you were on terrestrial radio. That's how you met Riley? 1996. Yes. Don't blame us. Yeah. No. I, <laughs> no, no, no. This, a lot of... How did Riley uh, court you? Yeah. I mean, it's an amazing story. Actually, I pursued him. Did you? Were you a believer in what he had to say about him being a, a, taken away by space? aliens a lot of people don't believe you know you believe you believe oh i did i always did as a child do you still I, believe oh yes of course you do because you couldn't be married to riley and, and not, not believe, buy the story right yes. no i always right. believed as a child even he doesn't come home at night after all this and go you know that stuff's a bunch <laughs> of he's never <laughs> well, I mean, uh, if, uh, if robin robin if you if you're keeping up with current events you know science channel and all this type of uh -huh. stuff i wrote this book better than 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. The Coming they, of Tan. Yeah, The Coming of Tan. And they are now revealing a great deal of the things that I've already written in there, even the concepts and things of this nature, uh, as, uh, and the history uh -huh. of mankind uh, colluding with extraterrestrials mm -hmm. back down through history, mm -hmm. all the way back to ancient Sumeria. Now, they now, are Joy. bringing this out now, but they didn't do this when I wrote the book. Yes. Right. Now, Joy, yes. you're... Obviously, a beautiful woman. You could get a lot of men. I don't think men were a problem for you. Am I correct? Mm, no. Oh, she Not used really. to model, man. She, I, used yeah. to model, I can believe yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. In your breasts, in your body, I can see you in great shape. I looked her over. I mean, yeah. you looked Thank terrific. You. Well, I don't blame you. Yeah. Is Riley a great lover physically? And has he made love to you? I mean, I. I <laughs> what do you think? Of course. He has. And at I'm what point, you meet him, at what point does he propose? Uh, Okay, well, you have, let me, can I back up a, a Yeah, a, I want to hear the whole bit. story. Right, right. Well, I'm going to, you know, shorten it. But mm -hmm. um, it was in 1996, and yes. I was in it. Now, this is where a lot of synchronicity comes into place, because, you know, the coming of tan. I was in a tanning bed <laughs> in New Hope. No. Be in careful Hope, with that, by <laughs> the way. No, I know. Yeah. In, in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, the gal before me had your show on. Right. And I... I'm sorry to say, but I didn't listen to you back then. I heard his voice. It's a I commanding voice. Well, a lot of people are drawn to his voice, but it was also the subject matter. I heard, you know. Were you abducted as a child? No. no you were not. I, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no abduction. So you meet him. And you fall. But how does she meet him? She hears him on the radio. <laughs> you start contacting it, him. The story gets a little funnier too because I'd be scared to contact. <laughs> yeah, Robert. really. Would, would I was make a you do that. I, I thought it was actually <laughs> his telephone number. It was his publisher's uh -huh. telephone right. number. Uh huh. And it turned out he, the, his publisher, lived like ten minutes down the road from me. And I said, "Well, let me come get the book." But it took me a day and a half to get through because you guys were. He was. They were deluged with telephone calls to get right. the book. I'm serious. That was back in 1996. Uh -huh. So how'd I you go, meet him? Well, it was very difficult because um, he's a hard it's guy to hard get hold to of. get to Riley. He, yeah. Oh yeah, I pursued <laughs> him because he even wrote in his book. I yeah. can remember page 313 of the wow. first edition. Well, you really are in love. Uh, uh, <laughs> 300. Really wow. Maybe you are a little it's, wild. It's sad. Right. At no at no point do I give my whereabouts, but those who are meant to meet we meet me will do so at a given time. Right. And wow. I kind Robin, of connected please. with him through his yeah. publisher. And so, please you, do not try to uh, ply me with copious amounts of sex, Robin. 
<laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not I mean, that you, kind of guy. You definitely go up a notch when you're seen with this woman. I mean, there's no question yeah, about it. Yeah, start hunting him down. Maybe it, I it certainly, I hunted him what, down. Yeah, with now, what but, you are paying me. Now, Riley. Uh, <laughs> it was not for my money, Howard. Right. She went for you. Me- yeah. Right. It was a meeting of the minds. You cheap bastard. Right. So wait Riley, a minute. You how meet often, Riley. All right, how often do you... I there's get, more to this story. I'm going to get to the story in a minute. How often do you make love to her? Honestly. Uh, Be serious. Uh, well, one of, one of the young men was saying, Raleigh, you keep going up there uh, four or five times a week. Say that could lead to a heart attack. And I said, well, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it true? Uh, and I want truth today. Mm-hmm. You make love to her four to five times a week. Uh, or more. Or more. Yeah. And when you say you go up there, from what I understand, the two of you don't live together. That's right. We oh, don't. Two no. different units. And that's because of <clears throat> what is two that? different reasons. Okay. Okay. All right. Because th- that's why I think actually that's right. why right. Right. actually right. three right. actually three. Right. Um, the first place that we cohabitated with um, had really bad energy, but um, <laughs> yeah, right. No, was we're there. talking about yeah. like some strange things. <laughs> that's happen. what I was thinking. No, a lot of strange <laughs> things right. happen in that place. Really? But right. um, Riley smokes cigarettes. I don't. Right. I have birds. I I. I don't know if you know, but I do rescue birds. Oh, I didn't that's, know that. That's something I oh, do. Oh, yeah, I heard and something I've about expanded. this. Yeah. I've birds expan- attack Riley? <laughs> birds no. don't like Riley? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell them about uh, the ghosties. Yeah, we're the, we had ghosts in the last place. So why does Riley have to move out, though? He's your husband. Why would he not live with you? Are I the didn't. ghosts following well, well, him? Right. My birds and I need... We need our own space, you know? Uh, Riley, uh, as a matter of fact... There's nothing wrong with that. It's very difficult to do my exacting work... With a dozen birds, <laughs> talking, yeah, talking they, cash they, shit. They scream yeah. a lot. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. I do and understand. So, and oh, she and she uh, she is self sufficient. I have twelve. Right. I she's have a twelve teacher. birds at she, one you point. Know, she, she oh, you are it. a teacher. I'm a teacher. School yes. teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. And a pilot. And a pilot. Uh, yeah, I used to fly hot air balloons. Yeah, commercial yeah. pilot. Oh, yeah, hot air balloons. Did yeah. you sign a prenuptial agreement with Riley? Oh, I mean, no, you're gonna get no. wiped out. You know no. that. You two are really <laughs> married. There's a the legal. You know what? I was almost thinking about bringing proof, but you know what? Yeah, maybe yeah. next time bring proof. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Nobody believes you. I mean, you married him. And I'm like, a standing wife now. No, no, we're really married. And he's Howard. good to you. I mean, yes. yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, Riley, remember some p- callers were calling up and they said you were gay because you live with Iran and what? you live with... Uh, I never uh, heard mm. that. Right. That's what I heard on the really? tapes. Everyone was yeah. accusing you of being gay. Well, I mean, yeah, that. simply because yeah. they are, uh, they are dunces right. who think that they should do these things and probably they are Republicans too. <laughs> it's an you insult know I mean. out of yeah, you. Right. I mean, no, no, it's an insult. You're a man's you, man. But I don't screen yeah. the calls. Right, right. Yeah. You, you just take them as they come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, right. uh, it's yeah. immaterial to me and what have you. I heard one caller say that you you swallow Iran semen and all that. And Iran oh, got offended. Either. Iran got offended. You got offended. Now your wife is offended. Am I correct? Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, my see, goodness. I won't even go there. I mean, I don't listen to that stuff. Riley makes love to you. He's able to get an erection. Does he does take any kind of a Viagra or anything like this? None of that's good. None of, None that, of that. that. And, and the you, day, you know, a lot the of day. it is more Look, of a meeting of the, the joy, minds. But, Joy, the first the, time you made love to him, were you shocked by the size of his penis? Howard, I'm not even going to answer that question. Oh, you no, know, you have to. You have no, to. I don't Riley, have to. Riley wants you to. Uh, I can say uh, with Are some, you big? some type of an authority that she must have been a bit shocked. Right. <laughs> are, you, are you thick and big, Riley? I picture you. Oh, that uh, way. Howard. Uh, well, Howard, I would. I would uh, with I the would, deep voice, I imagine big balls. Uh, uh, think of what you got in Dublin. Uh, that's sad. Well, that's that's that ain't a lot. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> is he is he a great lover, Riley? Uh, honestly, and is he the biggest man you ever had uh, sexually? That uh, mm. you know that really doesn't, that doesn't Howard, necessarily apply, Howard. You know you don't have to you be have big to and all to be a great lover. Right. However, mm. yeah. However, love is more uh, than a simple uh, marathon. Yeah. Uh, love, it, it love, a man's the joy. Flesh. Stop yeah. it. it. Sometimes yeah. it comes down yeah. to physical yeah. equipment. A and man's, a man's oh. bravado is, it, it should not, not be measured by is he a great his strength, lover? but by his tenderness. Yes. He is. Yes. Would love. you say he's bigger than nine inches? No, I, I'm not even talking about <clears throat> any of that. I'm just talking about the spiritual aspect. Right. Well, you're a school teacher. You can't talk about that kind of stuff. Absolutely not. Right. Well, I respect that. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and how would you, 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 you would do you well to give her some type of respect. I won't, I won't yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, spiritually, I, I think no. he's nine inches, I, at least spiritually. Oh. 
No. Yes. You go beyond that. So it is a marriage not of convenience. It is a real marriage, a growing yes. marriage. What could be oh, convenient yes. about it? Yeah, what could, yeah well, right. She now, married me for my money. Now, don't you think Riley complains too much to me about money? Bullshit. Shouldn't he leave the uh, show let me if he's. Speak. Okay. Uh, uh. Seriously, Who else Joy? has worked for you for seven years and didn't but get Riley, a cost of living? Nothing. Let me talk to your wife because she seems to okay. make sense. That's what I'm She's saying. She's a smart woman. Are you going to tell me? I'm going to tell you. Joy. Maybe she can talk some sense to you. I gave Riley this show because I, I actually like Riley a lot. I know you do. But I like not, you. I appreciate yeah, but that. But it's not the kind of show where I thought Riley could get on and sell his trinkets and such. And his and, books. And get some publicity for himself. If he really wants to go out and make a living off of this thing, he would have to go to a terrestrial radio station and acquire a big audience and do this kind of thing. It was well, supposed I mean, to be otherwise, an adjunct. Uh, it according, wasn't supposed I to be the I have ascertained thing. that I do have a very large audience, out, though you would Which never tell me. If he does, yeah, then, though you would never tell then me. with my blessing. Go you should go somewhere else. And exploit it. Yeah, well, that's okay. All you got to do is send me the pink slip and say, right, I'm not going to send you a pink slip. I Riley, like you on I don't there. want them okay. to send you. And now, look, this is one thing I want to ask you. After Joy, am I making any sense no, here? No, no. After... No, you are, Howard. Yeah, after six uh, years. Uh, Riley. After six Joy years. Joy just said I'm it. asking okay. you, give me two more hours per week. That's three hours a week at your That's discretion. That's too much. More. It's yeah. too much, Riley. No, no, well, my goodness. It's if a, you paid me the Riley, equivalent, are son, you I would, I would be fine the with the going? one hour. You are a, a, you're a, um, a spice, a spice. Yeah, the... Uh, a spice show. Yeah, the cost of living, everything. Right. No, no, has, no, uh, Has gone up 30% since, the, since I got here. The amount of cost... So you're hard-timing me because I'm spice, right? Listen to me. Riley. Punk. I'm not doing this you to punish you. fucking cheap punk. I'm trying oh, to God. tell you, Riley... <laughs> trying to tell you, I'm not doing this to punish you. Well, I thought I mean, it would be a well, fun little show. It's not supposed living. to be a living. It's not supposed to be a living. It's Why just should a fun, it not be? It's a fun thing for you. Can Why I, should it not be? I'm giving information here that are you may really, save your cheap you ass. Riley, are you oh, really happy with the way the show is going? Oh, I'm happy with uh, the audience and everything, Robin. You are. Nonetheless. 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 Uh, I would think that after all of this time, you would uh, make it so that I could actually uh, make a stipend that would give me a fairly decent living after all of this time, providing I meet with your approval. Joy, That's I like all I'm saying. I like that you are able to calm Riley down. I yeah. see you keep going, Riley, calm down, calm Riley. down. Why calm him down? I think he's fun when he's on fire, <laughs> personally. Uh, what, what, does he walk around the house angry a lot about the show? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, what is on Riley's mind? I don't see that part. I walk time. out because <laughs> I, I don't like all that stress. <laughs> How much <laughs> of the day does he run around screaming about the show? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are times I see it, but I'm able to walk out the door to go to my own place. Right. Thank oh, God. Oh, you heard my bird screaming. Right. That <laughs> <laughs> <It> was Damien. <laughs> <laughs> That's really Damien. <laughs> I mean, you're a lovely, beautiful woman. I mean, you could get uh, any guy. I mean, you are turned no on by this that. guy. I mean, it's wild. Oh, my gosh. I have. Yeah. I haven't even heard no, what it was minute, like the you, first time she met him. I mean, yes, did, she, you have did to Riley understand look what, like... Thank, uh, you, thank you, Robin. The, did you run out of the room? She expected or... <laughs> <laughs> well, it, uh, the, um, the meeting was arranged through his former publisher. Oh, I and see. I remember going to the where uh, Curtis lived. <laughs> and I saw Riley sitting with his... His Indian headband. His staff and, and his he band. was looking out at the river, and he stood up, and he came over to me, and he hugged me. I, and I know what he, he said. When he hugged me, no, no, no. It was a feeling that I have always known him. And it was when the Riley most hugged powerful you. powerful feeling I've ever felt in my life. It's really? like I've... I felt like I, I've always known him. Riley, wow. come here and hug me. Maybe <laughs> yeah, that'll let's help. See how I well, that, that was, that if was I it. If I hug you, I got to lift your wallet, you <laughs> cheap <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, no, yeah, right. No, so it was, it's. You're saying you hugged Riley and you felt no, like. No, he hugged me. Right. Well, that's what and I, figured. I just felt uh, like I've always known him, or I felt like I've known him. When a feeling is that powerful, I imagine it doesn't take long for him to seduce you, which I'm jealous. I mean, I can imagine making love to you is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you guess you 
I'm never serious. left him once you no, right. I did got that no. hug. Oh, he wasn't letting That's go of her. Let me tell you. <laughs> she's got a job. <laughs> Otherwise, she, so, look, she's, made, she's made her bones. She's yeah, been up and down yeah. the road. I've been up and down the road with him. What does yeah. that mean? What, uh, what, what are I the mean bad is times? What we, is the worst? We, we have okay. We have slept in oh four star, bags. four star hotel. Then we have slept in sleeping, sleeping bags, bags. Oh. ate pork and beans from the can, caught fish from the river, and on top of that, if some guy tried to jump me, they'd have to kick her ass too. Right. Yeah. And things like that. So she has measured out. Yeah. You understand? No. Yeah. And therefore. Uh, I've grown to deeply love her. She's sweeter as the day go by, kid. Do you have to give part of your paycheck to Riley? Because, I mean, he doesn't make mm-hmm. a great living. We know that. He complains you know about what? it all the time. We haven't mm-hmm. worked out yeah. where it works some. Um, he takes care of his, and I take care of mine. I see. Well, that's fair. Because my yeah. birds my birds are very important to me. Yeah. Um, Riley's like, like said, get rid of the birds. Let's eat no, them, no, no, and, no, then, no. and then we can have more money. Those birds are gangsters. I'm no, good. I do <laughs> rescue birds. That, that's important to me. I've always right. had a love for birds. But I'm just saying, uh, yeah, Riley probably sees right. it as a money drain. I mean, <laughs> and, uh, and, I, and how would I rescue two cats? You should approve of that. I do that's approve That's right, and we have two rescue cats They're both gangsters. Right. And they're gangsters, too. Right. <laughs> so what it is, is true love, because as Riley yeah. points out, you're not after his money. He knows you really, truly oh, yeah, yeah. love him. Absolutely. It's, yeah. Look, kid, that is it worth a... more than all the treasure and the gold on the uh, face of the earth. Why are you screaming? Why no children? <laughs> why no children? Oh, my gosh. I'm wow. past that age. You are? I'm almost 59. Yeah, but you married him. You were a young woman, weren't you? Yeah, but, you know, it just... You didn't want we haven't been married that long. Yeah, you didn't want no. kids with Did him? Did you have kids, no. Riley? But, uh, yeah, he had his own children. No, I have children. Wasn't... Yes, I have children. Right. Uh, They're my uh, children, Howard, too. Howard, for some reason... Go ahead. Women do not age when they're with me. Yeah. Right. Well, that's probably well, your whole basically. alien past, I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, anyway, listen. Mm-hmm. Riley. I bought my white your, son bu- your, with me. Your, your white son? By the way, Panther. we should point out... That and your wife is a white woman. Yes, yes, and Iran McCauley is here also, the mm-hmm. great Iran, my co-host. Right. And uh, how is living know, with him? Is that fun? You live with Iran. He does. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Otherwise, Iran says what he means. Matt Panther says what he means. I say what I mean. <laughs> It's a house full of and, people uh, who say what they mean. Yeah, yeah, say what they mean. But, you know, it's like, it's like. Uh, no wonder Joy moved out. Yeah, it's like, we get along, you know. Too much right. talking we get along. in that house. One time. Oh, by the way, what do you guys mean? Yeah, in the old house, in the old house. Right. Uh, Joy, one time, I, I went to her bedroom and opened the door because I'd be working late. Right. And here she is this high off the bed, man. Now, Honestly, what? God, no. I crossed my heart. You're saying that you know, Joy was, was off levitated? the bed. Levitating. My bed levitating. was levitating and a lot of strange Joy, things. Joy, do you remember are- levitating? Yes. You do? You mean your husband walked in the room, Riley? I was calling because uh, well, it she- started out with my... <laughs> Joy, never mind that. When Riley pees in a bucket, what is that like for you as a woman? Do you say to him, Riley, for Christ's sakes, use the bathroom and stop pissing in a bucket and in a, in a jug? Do you ever say it to him? Seriously. Well, he's discreet about it. He, he is? covers himself. But for a woman, that does not. That Why do you not do Riley, that? Riley, Riley. Uh, for God's son, sake. Yeah. Son, yeah. if you ever find anybody <laughs> As you get older, who Howard, loves this you has happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, 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 for more than your money, Right. and I hope you have, I hope so. then you will understand life. Right. Uh, instead of because you got 42 rooms and all this shit, and you're keeping me in the shoebox if you can, you dirty bastard. Uh, <laughs> then uh, all fault? of a sudden you're going to why are uh, you keeping uh, Riley in a shoebox? dictate the nature <laughs> of what actual love is. This is love. You mean because your quarters are small, yeah. you have to pee in a jug in front of your wife? I don't get it. No, this is love. No, the the I'm last place where I had to climb a flight of stairs. Yeah. Now, now. now the new place doesn't have mm-hmm. that. So you so don't need yeah. the jug. He uses yeah. the bathroom. Yeah. He moved his office and it just it's a you know joy will you ever walk around nude to excite riley do you, are you that type of woman where you're free with your body are you a hippie kind of woman you know what i mean and you'll just walk around naked no you will not <laughs> <laughs> will you ever do anything to please riley like go out of your way and uh, give him what he wants uh, no matter what what or, does riley want yeah what does riley <laughs> what want? does riley want yeah, what do you want riley sexually she, is there you something know? she doesn't do that you want no i would say oh well actually i would say darling it is a fine day for me to uh, touch 
the soul of your lovely spirit get naked. <laughs> right. like that. Mm-hmm. What when you guys when you guys are lovers though? Is there any romance because you guys have been married a long time? Or is it just like let's get it over with and do it and, and then we're done? No, with it? no, no, no. How would we had a lot of good times you, on the road. You get times, to the point. Yeah. You know, where yeah. where making love is no long no longer a, a, a spiritual a, a deep loving yeah. treat. Right. Then quit. Right, yeah. right. Good, good, you know, good yeah. advice. Yeah. Good yeah. advice. Yeah. Yes, Gary. Yeah. Yes. Jason was telling me an interesting story. I guess he went out to the house once, and he said he was sitting around w- talking with Joy and Riley, and they were walking around, and there were some pictures on the wall. I said, "What are these?" And Joy goes, "Oh, these are representations of the children that uh, Riley has had with some of the Biavians. Oh, her stepchildren. Who drew those? Oh, I, I draw it. In fact, in oh, fact, they, right. Howard, they were in the Howard. Book. Tell the listeners to go to Amazon." And buy my Kindle book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, now, the coming, now the coming of Tan is coming now of Tan, on Kindle. Um, yeah, on Kindle. So uh-huh. you can get it electronically, your book. Yeah, yes, you can get it electronically now, and it's cheap. And if I go to Amazon.com, I write in the coming of Tan, and it'll come up, and then I can I'll just, order it. Yeah, I'll just go there and say Riley, Riley Martin. Riley Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it. it, it'll come up. Well, that's simple. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. that's it. Uh, there's a man on the phone who claims he is the real Riley Martin and wants to speak to us. Let's talk <laughs> okay. to him. Okay, Riley, go ahead. Hey, man. Hey. I gotta tell you, son. Go your ahead. Act is a piece of shit. What? Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. In uh, we're, fact, we're, be so kind to stay the fuck out of my face forever. You sorry motherfucker. Uh, Riley, whoever you are, I'm sitting here with the real Riley, so I don't know uh, who you are. I, I said I don't know who you are. Uh, I said I don't know who you are. Uh, <laughs> How many times I gotta say I don't know who you are? Oh. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Riley. Right. I think you're the real Riley, uh, for whatever it's worth. Yes, Riley's book, The Coming of Tan, is now available for download yeah. on the Kindle. Mm-hmm. For more information, you go to RileyMartin.com. Right. And Howard, of course, they can always go to RileyMartin.com and get the hard copy. That's right. Uh, and what have you, RileyMartin.com. Also, they can t- uh, tweet me. Tweet, how would you tweet? You tweet. Tweet. You can tweet me. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, will leave that up to your yeah. wife. Use, <laughs> Riley, Riley. Yeah. Yeah. Use Riley L. Martin. <laughs> right. And also, there's a great deal of film of me that before I even met you on YouTube now. Really? Yeah. And yeah. What, is, uh, what is going on with your teeth? You've lost a few teeth since I last yeah. saw you. What's going on there? Are you not well, receiving uh, dental care? Well, yes, well, he is. Well, he is. Yeah, I'm receiving dental care, but, you know, it takes time. And you got to come up with some kind of money. <laughs> it's all my yeah. fault. Yeah. Everything yeah. that's going wrong. No, no, fault. what I'm saying is how it, uh, I should think that by now uh, you should make it so Go ahead. Uh, that I can uh, actually right. uh, keep up with the cost of living or something of that nature. I'm not right. asking you to do anything that I'm not deserving of. Right. I believe and truthfully believe that I'm a valuable asset to Sirius XM. Well, I am going to go speak with Tim about this immediately. Oh, I mean, my it. goodness. It's, it's really up to Tim, and I'm going to sit well, with him and make my recommendation. Well, if it's up to Tim, he will never do anything. Uh, How are you getting think. along? How are you getting along with Tim? Oh, uh, I've never been able to talk to Tim because right. he talks to me like some kind of a house jigaboo right. or something of that today. nature. He talked he to you too. Well, I mean, I know he's, he's, Thank God Joy is here. He's polite under these circumstances. Did he talk to Riley like a house jigaboo? Well, something of that nature. No. All right, uh, he's telling me, oh, we don't have any money. When when what, what he would pay me is less than what he would pay the boys down to the bathhouse. Right, right, right. That okay. he goes to. <laughs> you think he's going to gay bathhouses? Uh, well, uh, he's down the bathhouse with them boys up in there. <laughs> probably, probably. Uh, well, Riley, bonbons, too. Riley, it's always fascinating to be brought into your world. I know you've had your ups, and I know you've had your downs. Yeah. Some of the guys said when tough times, you, uh, you had no air conditioning in the summer, yeah. and you had fly strips all over your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And it was, right? He does. Is that right. hard to take, uh, Joy? Well, no, because well, that, all the windows were open or something? Right. I don't know, but that, that was the old place. Right. He's Just in a as new well. Place anyway, now. even the cats didn't like it. They sensed something was bad in there. Right. So. Riley, you've had your tough times and you've mm-hmm. had your good times. Right. You could make it better, Howard, is all I'm saying, man. Riley. If I've it's made possible, it, give make me more it, hours. Make it so. That's Can all. I just say something, Joy? Because yeah. yeah, you seem sure. to be rational. Yes. Listen. The idea of giving Riley a little show on here mm-hmm. was not so it would become his occupation. 
Mm -hmm. but that he could introduce him to the audience in a way where he'd be on his own. And he'd have an outlet. An outlet to sell his products and things. Okay. And, you know, that that would be a a part of his business, not his business. He's not a radio guy per se. He hasn't gone out on the road and proven his act, which I recommended that he does if he wants to make a career out of this. Well, he's working on that, Howard. Right. And Mm -hmm. I I want him Mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. And I do appreciate him. And I love having him a part of this. I know you do. But it's not a, it's not like a a business for him here. It's, it's a, it's a little, it's a little promotion. Vehicle. It's well, a free all, all, all of the rest of your personnel that's on every day, they are radio people, and I'm not? Mm. No, it, listen, I gave you a radio show, and you do a fine job. You do a great job. I love you. I, and he but does. I was hoping this would he parlay into something you. for you. Truly, he does. I'm not trying to keep you down. I'm trying mm. to help you. I, yeah. Who else is giving you a radio show? Nobody on the planet. But I don't get a thank you, Joy. I get a fuck you. Mm. That's I what th- he does. You know... I, I he's, thank he's, you, Howard. He won't would, thank me. And you know what? Yeah. I think if you, I'm, if I'm you, the buffer if you like here for me, Tam right. and yeah. him. Right. Like you profess to do. Yes, yes. Then you would give me an opportunity to at least make minimum wage, you cheap bastard. No, you But who else is giving you an opportunity to make well, anything? I mean, otherwise, look. Well, what Rob says my fault? he's working uh, uh, late into I, the night. I, what, I, that I have work information. Pay him Robin, anything? I have information. <laughs> no. I have information that's implementary. Th- that's the job he ought to quit. Well, I have yeah. quit information, that information that's yeah. implementary to the listeners, to the people of this world. And uh, if you uh, were Riley. not so busy Riley. Riley. Uh, 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 rubbing snake oil on your ass no, 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 no. Riley. and uh, trying to be uh, cutesy uh, poo uh, and riding on the boat with the white boy, bitch. <laughs> uh, then, uh, and, and then you would give it. Check it always becomes of, racial. Yeah, check some of the information. You right. check some of the information and see that it's bearing fruit over the years since I wrote it. Riley, and therefore, I have, it I may have. be implementary for you to listen to something that I say because somebody knows something about something, Howard. Right. Riley, uh, you do have you a know? great following. You I know. Do, and I, I know. gave him do. that. And you know what? Work with it. And because Thank that's you. it, well, you I have will, to remember, you are I, here I to get the message if you, out. Joy, if you work for me for seven years, uh, which will probably shortly be terminated, uh, if you work <laughs> with me for seven years, I would give you something. Okay. You understand? Okay. Uh, more right. than uh, the good point. chump but, change. Yeah, good yeah, point. Good point. I, I don't know what you uh, right. the, uh, the young man today... I told him I had to take my wife off work today. Where's Tim? Uh, Wait, let me see if I can get you some more money. Even, yeah, Riley, didn't, let me see if I can get more money. He didn't even uh, uh, agree to pay the parking. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. All right, Riley, yeah. let me see if I can. Hey, Jesus Tim. Christ. Hey, Tim, can you can't Riley make a decent wage around here? <laughs> hey, man, why? Well, look, ask him, can he find... And his great magnanimous heart. Hold on. Another Tim, couple of hours a week somewhere. Can't you find in your just, great magnanimous... Where is Tim? You're screaming and carrying on? He's drying off from the bathhouse. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Tim, what's, why are you so fucking cheap, man? Why are you treating him like a... Like, like, like a, like a, like a, a digabo. I'm saying, yeah, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that after all of this yeah, time... Yeah, what the fuck is wrong indeed, with you? indeed, I have come up to measure... Has he that, measured that, that, up? Has he for, measured for, up? For much of the garbage that you've been putting on. Right, let me handle this. Has yeah. he measured up? He's done a great job for us. He has. Yeah. Absolutely. Can we get him a few more bucks? All I have is, it's a one-hour show, Riley, and we talked about this a thousand times. It is what it is. We pay, you know, a, cert, a flat rate for an hour-long show. Well, give me two, give me three. That's we don't have much. additional hours. I don't have it. So what, We're booked what, up. what's so important... That's greater than the Riley Martin you're show. You're saying knock off something fill- else. My well, reruns. No, not necessarily what I'm saying is that Riley, my you're reruns. filling it up with rerun bullshit. Yeah, yeah, my reruns. But that well, means my goodness, knocking That's why people out. tune in. How would I love to listen to you uh, uh, over and, and over after again. 72 hours it wears kind of <laughs> fucking thin <laughs> well you know? people like it but I mean well I understand have. that uh, oh what did Joy sometimes. just say Joy yeah. what did no, you just say I, I missed it well work with work, what you have work I, with oh, 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 oh. you have to do with what you have I, I, uh, for example hear what Joy well, said. the hospital yeah. that I work at I'm well, a teacher don't you, they're closing <laughs> I have I have to be replaced why don't you go home with Tim now we're sounds like Joy's in Sounds like Joy's in love with Tim. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) Joy, let's go. You have to understand, I'm giving up driving 10 minutes and having to drive an hour and 10 minutes to my new job now because Governor Christie's closing down our hospital. She's working with what she has. I, I am, admire her. You know, well, you I know understand what? that. It's politics. I understand and it's that. Money. It, and Riley, you have we, to work yeah, with what you, you have. You, Howard, Riley, believe she, the me, woman is a believe saint. Believe me, yeah. you could find another couple of hours 
We don't Maybe. have it. You know, it's it's Riley, I send people out to your house to do the show. We, you know, we make it as it easy happen. as humanly possible to, to right. for you to do the show. I love you. Nobody yeah, else gets that. God, I wish I could work you, from my you, couch. You're I right. would be so happy. Hey, well, you hear what? Wait, hey, Riley. Here, or there, you still. <laughs> did you hear what? Here, there, Riley. Still, still did you hear what money. Joy just said? She I wishes went. she could work from her couch. Oh my God! It would make my life so simple. The did you hear would what be she just said? In the background, but no. But you know what, Riley? You have to understand. <laughs> what you have is a great audience, and this will snowball to. Ah. Proportions you can you can't even imagine. Right. Well, when Don't I you know that. I'm here as a buffer? Well, I'm going to talk to Joy from now on. You, you, yeah. you yeah. are the one who should be working for them. <laughs> right. Well, oh, well, maybe uh, I you can are the do one who show. should be working no, for them. I can't do your show. I oh. got to say, Joy, you are a lovely woman <laughs> and you. a powerful force. <laughs> I mean, you. you have a positive attitude because you. you say, "Hey, you got a little opportunity here. It's an hour. I know. Yeah. Work with it." And for seven years. That's how you do it. You've That's only how a lot of people make it this. about this opportunity. You know, I tell That's you. That's how you started out. You worked with it. And you had, I'll yeah. tell you what. That's, you, uh, Riley. I know your history. This woman, <laughs> you, you found an angel. <laughs> you found an angel. I'm well aware of that. <laughs> no, I'm well aware me. of that, Howard. <laughs> you understand, nonetheless, uh, I will, should she desire, buy her bus ticket, <laughs> uh, to Kansas, which is far as I can pay for, uh, but like with Kansas. what you cheap bastards are paying. <laughs> <laughs> she can only get to uh, Kansas. Joy, are you, <laughs> as as you can go. are you breast natural or implanted? No, I'm natural. Everything. I, D I cup? No. C. Howard, I have Beautiful. not had any plastic Beautiful. surgery, no Botox. Nothing. This is me. You're gorgeous. Well, uh, <laughs> obviously, everyone is taken with Joy. Even Hate Man is on the phone. He wants oh, Joy. Oh, no. oh boy. Know, here we go. Yes, Hate Man, go Who's ahead. Hate Man. How you doing, baby? Oh, boy. Here we go. Do you How get this you, a lot? Lady? Riley, do you get uh, men hitting on your wife because she is beautiful? Well, yeah. no, this is her first time. This is my first uh, Actually time. coming out here and right. what have yeah. you. And uh, uh, Because it's 2012. Yeah. Right. And, uh, 2012, got, are we done? Yeah. Are we done, Riley, in 2012? Uh, no. Uh, I'll, hey, how would I, I'll know yeah. about the middle of this year. About Joy what says no. Yeah. Joy says we're not yeah. done. Mm. The future is constantly changing every second, every nanosecond. I sense Riley's getting annoyed with you because <laughs> he wants to be the I'm guy who predicts. I'm very positive. I see the glass well, half uh, full. Well, uh, there are, I'm trying to learn uh, more than I know. However... This shit uh, is is uh, getting very flaky here on this planet. Oh, I know. On every from every aspect, kid. From Joy says aspect. we're fine. Yeah, I, well, well, I'm I'm trying to put out the positive vibes to. Not to, Riley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's into the scare well, tactics. No, He's I'm, scary, not, I'm not. <laughs> I've never used scare tactics. When you started going <laughs> yeah. out with Riley, how soon did he give you one of his symbols that he draws? Did he give it to you oh, right no. away? Y yeah, I. Or did you have to earn that? Like kind of like. No, you, I paid for mine. You, for you did. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's before we actually I connected. Thought, actually, yeah, before I, yeah. we met. I thought yeah, I should what? give her uh, the glorious opportunity yeah. of paying me. Uh, like Robin did not. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. Well, let, Riley, you know, you're a fascinating man. We could talk yeah, all day. Yeah. But, it, you know, if the fans want to find out more about Riley and want yeah. to find out about his life and his experience, yeah, go to RileyMartin.com. Riley's book, The Coming of Tan, is mm -hmm. now available for download on yeah. the Kindle. Right. This is exciting news. Mm -hmm. And for more information, go to RileyMartin.com. Riley, I want to thank you for coming in. I know it's a schlep in from uh, where yeah. you live. Yeah. I'm sorry. There <laughs> continues to be ongoing negotiations with Tim. I'm well, going Get on uh, that. There are no negotiations. It'll the guy out. just simply refuses. He's like a block of It'll ice. Work out. I yeah. hear what you're saying. Joy says it's going to work out. I agree with Joy. <laughs> well, uh, Riley's been making the same argument for seven years. You'd think he'd have finally said, you know, there's nothing that's going to happen on that end, so I mm -hmm. have to have another strategy. Right. No? Well, no. What, what, I mean, what, what strategy is there <laughs> other than trying to find some type? A piteous humanity amongst <laughs> you, uh, wretched, scoundrel. <laughs> yeah, wretched scoundrel. Are we the yeah. only game in town? Yes. Yeah, oh. it kind of appears oh. we are. <laughs> Believe me, Riley would be right out of here if we weren't. <laughs> um, Riley, you do have things to say. That's why I'm glad you're on the channel. I'm glad you're telling people about the planet and what is happening. I may actually just this be your new right. theme song. And I tell, I speak only, only what I. <laughs> Can't hear you. The birds are too yeah. loud. Only what I truly believe. Always. That's only one yeah. bird. You should try twelve. <laughs> mm -hmm.
That's all right. Let Riley try it. <laughs> Joy, you are magnificent. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, Howard. Lovely, I'm lovely just woman and for a this saint. Moment. Thank you. Or it can't be and easy living with Riley because he is a very <laughs> well, strong. Well, that's why she does. That. That's right. Oh, that's right. You don't live with him. <laughs> I forgot. We, we're right next door to each other. Right. Well, okay, close <laughs> you enough. Know, that right. makes a huge difference. <laughs> and let me tell you. Please tune in to Riley. All jokes aside, the man yes. has information. He does. There's a reason Joy is with him. There's a reason Iran is with him. Mm-hmm. And there is reason he has a huge following. Yeah, now my, my son, Matt Panther. Uh, oh, he's uh, your son? I, yeah, well, I call him my son. Okay. I wish Tim would at least hire him also to my forum because oh, the guy geez. is quite brilliant. <laughs> my oh, goodness. Geez. Well, I'm going to get on uh, this. Uh, I see there are a number of people on your show. Uh, when you do your show, uh, there are a number of They're making people. as much money as Matt right, Pinter. they're mm. making yeah. the same <laughs> amount as Matt Pinter. <laughs> Trust me. All there's a lot of people, due time. A lot of angry happen. people running around here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, listen. Riley's mm. book, The Coming of Tim. Go yeah. get that on Kindle. All you got to yes. do is go to Amazon and download. Just put in Riley Martin. You'll right. see what to do. And you know there's always RileyMartin.com for all of right. Riley's products and things. Joy, you are a joy. And uh, tell them to get their symbols, Howard. The it symbols. It may become it, it Let me handle this. Let me yeah. handle this. Okay. What Riley is saying is, when the when the shit hits the fan, part of my language, Joe, yeah. you cannot get on the mothership without a symbol. That's it. If you want to leave this planet and go when to somewhere, when all hell breaks loose, and it will break loose, if you're not holding a symbol, it's the same as not having a ticket into the movie theater. Am well, I correct? Yeah, you got to have the symbol, but it's not because we did, would, wouldn't wish that everyone on Earth could come. Not everyone can only, come. Yeah, there's only a finite What about all those number. animals? You know, I'm not mm-hmm. going to go without taking my kids. Well, you can take And all the <laughs> other people that feel uh, the they, same. Did, they buy, did you yeah. buy a ticket for them? Did you buy yeah. a symbol for them? No, no. Well, so fuck each, them. They're not each, going uh, anywhere. The animals each, have to have yeah, symbols each too. Each no, <laughs> no, but people have bought for the animals. Sample, but yeah. right. you can bring one animal. Really? Yeah. Oh, you can bring an animal. One. One. So we're all going to be in the mothership one with pet. horses and elephants. Yeah. And well, no, they're going to be all of that. All you can bring is, let's say, a cat, a dog. Uh-huh. Well, what about uh-huh. all the other stuff that left behind Well, on my Earth? goodness. You can't, you can't leave Look, all the... planets die. You can't leave all that Species stuff Species die. No. Joy. Whole civilizations you can't die. can't the fauna, the beautiful yeah. fauna and the animals? No, no. Oh, they've got the, d- the DNA of everything. Right, is this, yeah, is this what the dinner That's... table conversation <laughs> sounds like? <laughs> now, we Joy. have we've Joy, Riley, you know, it's hours right. at a time. Yeah, but okay. Joy, it's not up to Riley. Riley yeah. doesn't decide Yeah, this. let's set the That's bomb right. off, huh. uh, but we want to save all the elephants. Shit. Uh, we're not trying to save ourselves from the inevitable Armageddon that's coming down upon us. Joy, so what he's saying is... One, one... One animal. 2012. If you add those numbers up, they add up to seven. The the DNA. We have opened the seventh seal. Okay. What is the seventh seal? Isn't that a Demi Moore movie? Yeah, mm. that was she was. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. that's the end of the world. Who plus the seven Demi, That's a Demi Moore she movie Demi Moore and the end of the world. Right. Yeah. You're saying the end of the world is, com- world is I'm coming. I'm saying 2012? that this is a time right. when ultimately the seven will be lucky for us. Ah, it, it will, will be not. the opening of the seventh seal towards Armageddon destruction. Don't there you know? There are so many things coming down that is not made evident to. Is the there a way person. that Joy can bring all of her birds with her and not uh, just he one? He says I have to uh, farm them out. Yeah, farm them out to who? Make it, have, well, she can to have one to each take... and one to. I won't oh, go with my kids. Yeah, I see. And my Riley. animals. Mm-hmm. Are you saying she's got to make friends with people who, at that time... Don't have pets. Don't have pets. Right. Yeah. And well, then get she on can that. give them each a bird. Yeah. yeah. Why are you yeah. fighting Riley on that? He didn't make the rules. <laughs> no, 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 really. Well, you, know, you know, they can't let you bring your menagerie. It's like Noah's Ark. Because it's really not enough room. Read between the lines. They the DNA yeah. for all the animals. Joy. Yeah, they got the DNA. They Riley, the DNA. face it, Riley just doesn't like your birds. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think we have separate households? <clears throat> no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Beetlejuice wants to say hello to you uh, quickly, Riley, and to Joy. Uh, okay, yeah, Beetlejuice. What is this fucking guy crazy or what? Uh, <laughs> All right, come on. We'd say something to Riley. Hey, it's if you have a year, question. Be nice. What's he talking about? He's talking about the end of the earth. He's talking about going to another planet. Who are you fooling, pal? Hey, listen. What the hell is you talking about, man? Just because you're not a believer doesn't mean it's not true. <laughs> about yourself? Well, listen, Beetle, you can talk all you want, but let me tell you something. One day you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised when I'm on the mothership, Robin's on the mothership, oh. and Joy is on the mothership. That's right. Mm. I don't have nothing to do with that, though. Uh. <laughs>
All right, Beetle. Good so luck to you. Why are we into the press? So what? Dude, buy a symbol. <laughs> yeah, he thought you driving the moon today. Oh, you know what? Even if you don't believe, hedge your bet. Have the yeah, symbol there. What the hell are you talking about? All right, Beetle. Thank you. <laughs> this fucking guy ain't no one can <laughs> well, you know, Riley, one day all the people will see you were telling the truth. They'll well, be no, sorry. It's, it's, yeah, Beatles it's, says you're making no yeah, sense. Uh, I didn't come to say, hey, you uh, go ahead and die automatically. Right. I said that civilizations have failed, have come and disappeared before. Right. And so have planets and Absolutely. the life thereupon. We have the ability to destroy this planet now. And we're and close everything to it. Upon it. Yeah. And there are other things out in space. On December 21, 2012, uh, it will be the event horizon when the sun lines up with the center of the galaxy. That will cause certain planets to come into alignment. The gravitational force from these things uh, may very well. Joy, if Pull you, if, if you yeah. moved uh, a few more doors down, no one would blame you. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen, Riley, God bless well, you. Well, you I have mean to it. understand, even before I met Riley, I had have seen visions of this. Oh, even I believe before that. I connected with Riley. In, yes. I think it takes a special woman to love Riley, and uh, you uh, are you special. Know, when you brought up the, the dinner table, I would love to know what the conversation Well, you heard a piece of it. <laughs> Riley table, has to we, have, we, have, we have talked admit, for eight you, hours at a time. But do you accept that Riley is an expert in this area? Because you seem yes. to argue with him about no, a lot of I, stuff. No, She's not Howard, so dense as to have no, not I checked have his information over the years. I have seen physical proof of things, yeah. which see, I cannot he discuss and about. disclose over this time. I have seen physical proof of certain things, yes. Uh, what, have you ever seen Ry- Riley rise up off the bed? <laughs> no, I don't. I no, never, I haven't never seen did that. I've, I've right. seen other but, things, but no. What I, have I, you I, seen that uh, has... Uh, I can't tell you. That involved Riley? No, I just... Okay, I've, fair enough. I, I we'll save it for another time. Absolutely. All right. Well, Joy... He would also have to agree if I... And he knows what I'm talking yeah. about. What's she talking can, about? Riley? Can you let her tell us, Riley? Oh, not right now. No, no. <laughs> Darn. Well, you yeah. know no, too I'm much not, already. No, <laughs> uh, with, with your teeth right on the boat. <laughs> uh, what? Set my eight hundred dollar bottle of wine drinking. <laughs> Starve a nigga, okay. bitch. All right. <laughs> you know what, yeah. Riley? I'm I don't want anything cheap here. Cheap red wine. <laughs> is Riley human or is he part alien? I really oh. think he has, you know, that 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 gene. I believe she. Uh, all right. I believe he has that you gene know, too. But there are lo- millions of people walking around with that gene. But Riley's Riley, you know. I love why him. do you think they chose him? I, I, I know have why. no clue. <laughs> <laughs> do you know his children are all beautiful, all intelligent? Uh huh. Think about the genetics, the DNA. I believe it. I'm all right. Serious. Listen. Uh, look. Yeah. We could talk for I hours. I know we could. I know how. Thank you so much, Howard. Hey, and thanks Robin for having for us having in, man. You know, I loved it. And, and, and love it. you know, we love you, Riley. Yeah. No, what? Well, well, I love you too, baby. I tell him that. And I always tell him that. Yeah, we well, do. I love you too, but he's confused. Uh, do not attempt to diminish me. All right. We're not. Uh, in, we're not in, diminishing in you at all. I said your wife's hot. That's the that's the highest compliment I can give you. Yeah, and definitely she is. You didn't lie. Oh, she is. Did not lie. I don't even think you can handle. And you know what? You keep working on that show, you're going to be surprised. To see what happens. Well, definitely. I know. <laughs> well, I thought I might. Bless I you, might Joey. be able to uh, get a few more shekels. Okay. No, okay. Yeah, yeah, a few more shekels before the yes, shit come down. Right. You know, but and what have you? It's hard to end this discussion. Yeah. Why do you care right. if the shit right. is coming down? Well, I, da, it's not a guarantee, <laughs> Robin. It's not a guarantee that you're going to die on schedule, Robin. <laughs> yes, Chris. Okay. Chris, you're on the yeah. air in uh, Bullhead yeah. City, Arizona. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask Mr. Martin um, when the Biogians come pick us up because he knows exactly when. And I also wanted to ask um what your job will be when we go up there. Oh, come on. We're not starting that. Call yeah, into yeah, a right, show. Right. It would take show. too long, but right. Chris, Save her for Chris, the show. Uh, yeah, happy new year to you and your lovely family, man. That's right. Uh, and what have you. And uh, uh, Species uh, and planets yeah. end, and now this interview yeah. must end. Right. Uh, I yeah, want to This thank interview must end, and what have you. I'm, thank I'm, you, Riley. I'm growing weary because I did a show last yes. night at midnight. You yeah. did. Yes. He did. Right. He worked hard last night. Riley, right. thank you for your hard work, and thank you seriously for doing your show and spreading the information. Sure. And thank you for the coming of Tan, which is available on Kim. Kindle. Yeah. Enjoy. You are exactly what your and name thank implies. Thank you, Howard, for making yeah, the connection. You. you were part of the synchronicity of us meeting. So 
That's and right. for giving him the show. Yeah, and you, you got him. Robin, you, yeah, thank you, you, you so much. You brought it to me, out. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. Yeah, thank me for yeah. that, at least. Right. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, right. you know, he, he just doesn't even appreciate it. <laughs> I, I wish he'd come to me first, but what can I do? Okay. All right, we'll be back right after these words. Hey, uh, hey, uh, photo op. She's coming. Can I take this off? Mm -hmm. I can't believe. Can I take this off? <laughs> I can't believe I'm responsible yeah, for you two meeting. Oh, but you are. Mm. Oh my gosh, I can remember that day as clear as a bell. Oh. Always a pleasure to see you. <laughs> Happy New Three, Year. Two. I have five more to go. Thank you. Robin, it's a pleasure to meet you. The last time I saw you was um, when you were um you had the birthday party. You oh. probably didn't know me then. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Going, hey, yeah. Is that my camera or your camera? That's my camera. Oh, this is your camera. <laughs> yeah, but can I take a picture of you and Tony? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Well, you're wonderful. I was wanting one of my boys to come in and take a picture. <laughs> well, let me get this shot first here. Right here, look at me. Okay, one, two, three. Take one more. Hold on. One, two, three. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so See, it's how it, it's easy to, uh, to get a beautiful woman when you got Two hundred million dollars. That's right. When, when you, you don't have anything, to pot to piss in. <laughs> That's a more for the. Yeah, you're saying, yeah. If mine. you get one, then <laughs> I admit you're right. <laughs> then you got one. Now, now you're talking. You see, the, yeah. if she hangs, you got one. Right. And that's no, worth yeah. more than all the treasure. You know true yeah. love. Hey, well, that's worth, that's worth more than all the treasure on the earth. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. I agree. How you doing? All right. Good to see you, Riley. Thanks, Riley. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you. Yeah. Yeah. thank you for coming yeah. in, man. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Yeah, sure. And uh, so you guys couldn't scrape up nothing from a pocket or nothing? Tim, he's got the pockets. Yeah. I want the pockets yes, paid for for Riley. I My mean, pockets are so shut by can Tim. Can you handle that? Mm -hmm. We'll talk right. Oh, jeez, I'm talking about, yeah, no, no, yeah, do no, no, something much. for me, man. And uh, I'm talking about, I got to, look, I got to, I'm out of 100 bucks here. You are? Yeah, for, for the parking, it's like a van, 80 bucks. You rented a van? Mm -hmm. you rent no, a van? I got a van. Oh, okay. Parking's probably, okay. Parking's not a hundred dollars. I'll take care of it. Yeah. I'll take care of it. All I'm saying is, gentlemen, look, I'm having a hard enough time Howard. as it is. I got it. Yeah. No, we don't. I'm having a hard yeah. enough time. Yeah. Cover your fucking parking here. Yeah. Well, Go ahead. Hey, thanks, man. All right. Yeah, hey, and, uh, hey, I appreciate that. Ten seconds. Uh, and I was wanting a photo op if I get one of my boys in there. What the hell? Anything else? We're going back on the air. Riley. Oh, I'm going back. Look, he's going back. Okay. Okay. Take care, man. Lots of love, man. Really. Lots of love, guys. My baby. Robin. 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 Bye-bye. Ah, uh, what's this? Uh, Bye, Riley. Bye. Uh, Bye. Uh, take care, man. Hey, uh, uh, take care, man. Uh, give all the families <laughs> Riley's you still saying goodbye. Yeah. He just fleeced me for a hundred bucks. That. What? How did he uh, do that? He fucking works on me. How did he manage that? I he laughed. told me he's out a hundred bucks for parking and Tim uh, wasn't giving it to him. So I just said, here, here's a hundred bucks. Uh, I got out of there after the hellos. Yeah, you, you, I had nowhere to go. <laughs> you know you can park a van in the city for three days for I bucks. know, I know. It's all right. I bought a few symbols. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting on the mothership. Well, Mr. Martin, uh, I believe it's uh, safe to say that Howard took a liking to your wife, Joy. Well, oh, yeah, my goodness. How could you not love her? Very you beautiful know, She's woman. beautiful lady. Very intelligent. Oh, and uh, I consider that I'm a fortunate man. But you understand, she had to be to prove herself out, even to an old space cowboy like me. And we've been through it together. And she earns the right to walk beside me. Do you understand? A man's strength is not measured by his bravado, but by his tenderness. Do you understand? That's what she mm -hmm. said. <laughs> now, Riley, you came here on uh, yet another mission to Try and get serious to come around a little bit and, and give you some more cash flow and right. Do you, but do you I think, think you were successful? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, however, I should think that it, when Ronnie worked for six years for Howard, he got a raise of some kind. I would think. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not. I'm not asking anything that's out of the realm of rationality. In as much as the cost of living has went up 30, 40 percent since I started here. But if I cannot get that, then I appreciate what I have. Nonetheless, it does not leave a sweet taste in my mouth, even though I love these kids. 
Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, hey, help me out here. I mean, my goodness. You can run reruns around the clock. After I listen to them all ten times, then give me one more hour. You know, or what have you. And that's all I'm asking. Now, where does the blame lie, with Howard or with Tim Sabian? Mm, well, uh, if Howard say, say do it, it will be done. Simple as that. It's simple. But uh, look, I still have a great deal of admiration for the man. I, I have nothing against him. I wish him well on all of his endeavors. Nonetheless, uh, t things are tough. And uh, don't make it any tougher than it need be upon a person who is a faithful uh, employee of the company. Simple as that. And, and my final question for you, Riley. Mm -hmm. When the Armageddon comes down, will Tim Sabian be allowed aboard the Mother? <laughs> Tim has his ticket. He has his symbol. And I cannot, it's not right that any mortal should be able to deny access to any other mortal, regardless of what kind of cheap bastards they are. You see what I mean? I hear you. Good luck to you, Riley. Good see you. Good luck. <laughs> Tim, when Howard puts the onus on you, when we all know, in fact, he's the one making you know, the ultimate decision, he's, he, he's skirting the issue, how uncomfortable is it for you to deal with Riley on a uh, daily or monthly or yearly basis at this point? I've dealt with Riley now for six years. It's the same routine, so I'm used to it. What's the secret? Calling his bluff? No, it's just uh, it is what it is. We only have so much money. But Howard keeps telling him, you know what, if you're this popular, if you're this good, then you might have to exploit your talents elsewhere. Will he ever listen to something like that? No, he won't. He'll never leave. Riley's never going to leave. He'll threaten to leave, but he'll never leave. You also touched on the fact that you guys go out of your way to produce and, and Well, produce I send some to his house. I send engineers. I send producers. Uh, we have a line into his house. It, it costs a lot of money for us to just to produce the show for us to send all those people to his home. So he really is getting a, a very special treatment that Absolutely. he's not either aware of or willing to uh, be appreciative of. He just uh, he doesn't understand the business. Your predictions for the Riley Martin show in 2012? I say Riley doesn't move anywhere. He still stays here on Howard 101. Where he belongs. Exactly. I did. I always did as a child. Do you still I believe? Oh, yes, of course. You do. Because you couldn't be married to Riley and, and not, not believe, buy the story, right? Yes. No, I always right. believed as a child. Even he doesn't come home at night after all this and go, you know, that stuff's a bunch of... <laughs> He's never confessed. Well, I mean, uh, if, uh, if Robin, Robin, if, you, if you're keeping up with current events, you know, Science Channel and all this type of uh -huh. stuff, I wrote this book better than 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. The Coming they, of Ten. Yeah, The Coming of Ten. And they are now revealing a great deal of the things that I've already written in there, even the concepts and things of this nature, uh, as, uh, and the history uh -huh. of mankind uh, colluding with extraterrestrials mm -hmm. back down through history, mm -hmm. all the way back to ancient Sumeria. Now, they now, are Joy, bringing this out now, but they didn't do this when I wrote the book. Yes. Right. Now, Joy, yes. you're obviously a beautiful woman. You could get a lot of men. I don't think men were a problem for you. Am I correct? Mm. No. Oh, she Not used really. to model, man. She, I, used to yeah. model, I can believe it. Yeah. Yeah. In your breasts, in your body, I can see you in great shape. I looked her over. I mean, yeah. you look Thank terrific. You. Well, I don't blame you. Yeah. Is Riley a great lover physically, I, and has he made love to you? I mean, I. I <laughs> what do you think? Of course. He has. And at I'm what point, him. you meet him, at what point does he propose? Uh, okay, well, you have, let me, can I back up a, a Yeah, a, I want to hear a the whole bit. story. Right. Right. Well, I'm going to, you know. Sure, did. But mm -hmm. um, it was in 1996, and yes. I was in it. Now, this is where a lot of synchronicity comes into place because, you know, the coming of tan. I was in a tanning bed <laughs> in New Hope. No. Be in careful Hope, with that, by the way. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. In, in New Hope, Pennsylvania. Yes. Uh -huh. And um, the gal before me had your show on. Right. And I, I'm sorry to say, but I didn't listen to you back then. I heard his voice. It's a commanding voice. Well, a lot of people are drawn to his voice, but it was also the subject matter. I heard... You know, were you yeah. abducted as a child? No. no you were I, not? No, no. Okay. No, 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 no abduction. So you meet him, and you fall... But how does she meet him? She hears him on the radio. <laughs> you start contacting it, him? The story gets a little funnier, too, because... I'd be scared to contact <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, really. Would, would I was a woman. Do I, that. I thought it was actually <laughs> his telephone number. It was his publisher's telephone uh -huh. number. Uh -huh. And it turned out he, that his publisher lived, like, 
10 minutes down the road from me and I said, well, let me come get the book. But it took me a day and a half to get through because you guys were, he was, they were deluged with telephone calls to get right. the book. I'm serious. That was back in 1996. Uh-huh. So How'd I you go, meet him? Well, it was very difficult because um, he's a hard it's guy to hard get a hold to of. Get to Riley? He, yeah. Oh yeah, I pursued him because he even wrote in his book. I yeah. can remember page three hundred and thirteen of the wow. first edition. Well, you really are in love. Uh, uh, <laughs> three hundred. Really wow. Maybe you are a little wild. It's, it's sad. Right. At no at no point do I give my whereabouts, but those who are meant to meet we meet me will do so at a given time. Right. And wow. I kind Robin, of connected please. with him through his yeah. publisher. And so we Please do not try to uh ply me with copious amounts of sex problems. <laughs> I'm you, I'm not I mean, you, kind of you definitely go up a notch when you're seen with this woman. I mean, there's no question yeah, about it. Yeah, I'm hunting it. him down. Maybe it, I ought to read it. I hunted him what, down. Yeah, with no, what you are paying me. Now, Riley. Uh, it was not for my money, Howard. Right. She went it for you. Me- yeah. right. It was a meeting of the minds. You cheap bastard. Right. So, wait Riley, a minute, how meet often, Riley. All right, how often do you... Uh, there's uh, more to this story. I'm going to get to the story in a minute. How often do you make love to her? Honestly. Be serious. Well... One of one of the young men was saying, Riley, you keep going up there uh, four or five times a week. Say that could lead to a heart attack. And I said, well, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is it true? Th- and I want truth today. Mm-hmm. You make love to her four to five times a week. Uh, or more. Or more. Yeah. And when you say you go up there, from what I understand, the two of you don't live together. That's right. We oh, don't. Two no. different units. And that's because of <clears throat> what is two that? different reasons. Okay. Okay. All right. Because th- that's why I think actually he's that's why right. right. actually right. three right. actually three. Right. Um, the first place that we cohabitated with um, had really bad energy, but um, <laughs> yeah, right. <Riley laughs> no, we're there. talking about yeah. like some strange things. <laughs> that's happen. what I was thinking. No, a lot of strange right. things happen in that place. Really? But, right. Um, Riley smokes cigarettes. I don't. Right. I have birds. I. I I don't know if you know, but I do rescue birds. Oh, I didn't that's, know that. That's something I oh, do. Oh, yeah, I heard and something I've about expanded. this. Yeah. The birds expan- attack Riley? <laughs> birds no. don't like Riley? <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, tell I, me about uh, the ghosties. Yeah, we're the, we had ghosts in the last place. So why does Riley have to move out, though? He's your husband. Why would he not live with you? Are I the do. ghosts following well, him? Right. My birds and I need... We need our own space, you know? Uh, Riley, uh, as a matter of fact, it's that. It's very really difficult to do my exacting work. With a dozen birds, <laughs> talking, no, talking they, cash shit. They scream yeah, a lot. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. I do and understand. So, and oh, she and she uh, she is self sufficient. I have twelve. Right. I have twelve teacher. birds at she, one you point. Know, she, she oh, you are good. a teacher. I'm a teacher. School yes. teacher. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. Yeah. And a pilot. And a pilot. Uh, yeah, I used to fly hot air balloons. Yeah, commercial yeah. pilot. Oh, yeah, hot air balloons. Did yeah. you sign a prenuptial agreement with Riley? No, before? I mean, no, you're going to get wiped no. out. You know no, that. You two are really <laughs> married. There's a the legal. You know what? I was almost thinking about bringing proof, but you know what? Yeah, maybe yeah. next time bring proof. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> Nobody believes you. I mean, you married him. I'm and a like... standing wife now. No, no, we're really married. And he's Howard. good to you. I mean, yes. yeah. Yeah. Right. Now, Riley, remember some p- callers were calling up and they said you were gay because you live with Iran and you what? live with... Uh, I never uh, heard mm. that. Right. That's what I heard on the really? tapes. Everyone yeah. was accusing you of being gay because well, you I mean, live yeah, with Iran. Simply because yeah. they, are, uh, they are dunces right. who <laughs> think that they should do these things and probably they are Republicans too. <laughs> it's an you insult know, though, to yeah, you. Right. I, mean, I don't know it's an insult. You're a man's man. You. But I don't screen yeah. the calls out. Right, right. Yeah. You, you just take them as they come. Yeah, yeah, yes. It's immaterial to me and what have you. I heard one caller say that you swallow Iran semen and all that. And Iran oh, got offended. Either. Iran got offended. You got offended. Now your wife is offended. Am I correct? Oh, my gosh. Mm. Yes, yeah, yes. My See, goodness. I won't even go there. I mean, I don't listen to that stuff. Riley makes love to you. He's able to get an erection. Does he has to take any kind of a Viagra or anything like this? None of that's good. None of that's good. That. And, the and day, you know, a lot the of day. it is more Look, of a meeting of the, the day. Mr. Riley Marshall. Hey, how are you? Mrs. Welcome Mrs. back, Riley. sir. Come here. Come here, darling. Oh, this is Mrs. Riley Marshall. This is delicious. Welcome. Nice to see you both. Thank you. So, Riley. Mm-hmm. The coming of Tan. The coming of Tan. Coming to Kindle. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, you can go to Kindle, Amazon Kindle, and get the book now. It's cheap. And uh, then you can put it on your computer, your iPod, your iPad, your I do and I don't, or whatever. You know. I hate you, I don't know. Hey, now, just as importantly, you haven't spoken mm-hmm. to Howard in a long while. It's been a long time. Oh, uh, so we going in? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
And uh, these, uh, these are my crew. Uh, that's uh, Matt Penta there. That's my white yeah. son. My white son from uh, hey guys. Georgia. And this is Ron McCauley. He know me. And this is my driver, Al Soprano Trabuco. Hello, how are you? John Lieberman, how are you? How you doing? Riley. Mm. So do you look forward to seeing Howard, or do you have a, do you have a beef with him today? Well, I mean, uh, you would think that after six years plus on the air, that ultimately they would cut me some kind of slack and give me a little more than one stinking hour at the midnight hour every week and what have you. The show is very popular, and I think it's definitely a valuable asset to Sirius XM. And uh, I have diligently, uh, you know, worked continuously. And uh, I should think that it's about time now, simply because I don't think you'd have anybody else working for you for seven years and don't even give them a cost of living break or anything of that nature. So I think that's rather shitty. What's your name? You understand. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. Perhaps today you can really state your claim and Howard will listen to you. Perhaps today well, hope, today. Let's say hopefully so. Uh, I wish the gentleman well. I consider him a friend of mine. Nonetheless, he has not reciprocated to me in all of this time. And uh, uh, I don't know why. You know, I may be a bit abrasive at times. But, as my wife can tell you, I have the most sweetest and dulcet personality that you're ever going to run into and all that. Heavens forbid uh, that I should say something, you know, uh, like, hey man, why are you being a cheap-ass Jew or something like that? Heavens forbid I should say that. Uh, nonetheless, I look forward to talking to him today, okay? All right, Riley. Good luck today. Yeah. Riley Martin has been a part of our show. There's a strange thing that Riley's show now has been on the channels, I think, the longest, right, out of, of any Yeah, of I think it was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, and it's weird because the show now has morphed into people just calling up and making phony phone calls to Riley. Yeah, nobody really listens to the babble about <laughs> other worlds. Yeah, nobody, I think, cares about aliens. the end of this one. I think everyone's heard that alien story a million times. <laughs> so, here, like, here's some samples of what's going on on Riley's show. Is Franklin in New Jersey. Hello, Franklin in New Jersey. Hey, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Franklin. Hey, I was wondering if you were going to address uh, all these prank callers on the Howard Stern show tomorrow, if you're still going on. And yeah. I was also wondering um, <laughs> if uh, if your New Year's resolution is to keep ripping people off and to keep sucking Iran and Matt Pence. Yeah, well, off. I mean, <laughs> no, no a... what I'm saying, uh, but, but uh, if that is your New Year's resolution... Uh, you keep doing that, son, but only do it with another adult, okay? Idiot. Next call, mm -hmm. this is Gary in New Mexico. Hello, Gary in New Mexico. Yeah, I was thinking, like, for resolutions, you should really stop sucking Eron's cock. Yeah, uh, yeah, cock. right, right, right. And you should uh, try to go and eat car Rose poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so, and, and it goes on all night. Mm -hmm. All right, next call, this is Roy in Texas. Hello, Roy in Texas. Hey, Riley. Hey, did you get uh, drunk on New Year's Eve, or are you too busy drinking Eron semen? Uh, well, uh, no, no, but uh, <laughs> you keep on doing that, son. But I'll just stick to my Miller Lite beer, okay? Idiot. Next call, this is Brad in Phoenix. Hello, Brad in Phoenix. Happy New Year, friend Riley. Happy New Year, uh, Eron. Happy New Year, Brad. Happy New Year. I just had a question. Uh, do the Biavians uh, celebrate New Year's? Or is it the same way that you do, by sucking a bunch of curry? Yeah, yeah, well, no, no, that's what you do. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, uh, it's turned into quite the fun fest, that hour or so that Riley does. And, anyway, here's Riley, and he has an entourage with him of about six people today. What? There he is. There's Riley and his, his gorgeous, wife. His gorgeous yeah. wife. Gorgeous wife. Anyone who thinks Riley can't get hot chicks is sadly mistaken. You are a beautiful, beautiful woman. You really are. And you are. look sane. <laughs> and, yeah, and you look normal and everything. I mean, hot. Wow, how does that happen? I mean, I would make love to you beautifully. I really would. I would. I would make beautiful love to you. 
Are you 100% human or are you from another planet? <laughs> well, that's, that, that, that no, is, I'm 100% uh, human. You're 100% human. And mm-hmm. when, uh, how did Riley get such a gorgeous woman like you? Everyone thinks Riley can't get the beautiful woman. I mean, you're a beauty. Well, thank you, Howard. But Right, Riley? I mean, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, otherwise, Howard, miraculous things happen when you mess with the space cowboy. Synchronicity. Uh, listen, a lot of people can't believe I got a beautiful woman to marry me. That's what I'm saying. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm saying. But now. I have to tell you, Howard, it was um, because of your show when you were on terrestrial radio. That's how you met Riley? 1996. Yes. Don't blame us. Yeah. No, I- <laughs> no. no. <laughs> there, this, a lot. How did Riley uh, court you? Yeah. I mean, it's an amazing story. Actually, I pursued him. Did you? Were you a believer in what he had to say about him being uh, taken away by space? Aliens. A lot of people don't believe. You know. You believe. You believe. Oh, I- Wait, how are you tweet? You tweet. Tweet. You can tweet me. <laughs> uh, 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 we'll leave that up to your wife. Use <laughs> Riley. Yeah. Birthday. Use Riley L. Martin. <laughs> right. And also, there's a great deal of film of me that before I even met you on YouTube now. Really? Yeah. And what is uh, what is going on with your teeth? You've lost a few teeth since I last yeah. saw you. What's going on there? Are you not well, receiving uh, dental care? Well, yes, well, he is. well he is. yeah, I'm receiving dental care, but you know, it takes time. And you got to come up with some kind of money. <laughs> it's all my yeah. fault. Yeah. Everything yeah. that's going wrong no, is my no. fault. No, no. What I'm saying is, how it, uh, I should think that by now, uh, you should make it so. Go ahead. Uh, that I can uh, actually right. uh, keep up with the cost of living or something of that nature. I'm not right. asking you to do anything that I'm not deserving of. Right. I believe and truthfully believe that I'm a valuable asset to Sirius XM. Well, I am going to go speak with Tim about this immediately. Oh, I mean, my it. goodness. It's, it's really up to Tim, and I'm going to sit well, with him and make my well, recommendation. If it's up to Tim, he will never do anything. Uh, How are you getting think. along? How are you getting along with Tim? Oh, uh, I've never been able to talk to Tim because right. he talks to me like some kind of a house jigaboo, right? Or something he of that today. nature. He talked he to you today. Well, I mean, I know he's, he's thank God Joy is here. He's polite under these circumstances. Did he talk to Riley yeah. like a house jigaboo? Well, something of that nature. No. All right, uh, he's telling me, "Oh, we don't have any money." When, when what what he would pay me is less than what he would pay the boys down to the bathhouse. Right, right, right. <laughs> that okay. he goes to. <laughs> And you think he's going to gay bathhouses? Uh, well, uh, he's down the bathhouse with them boys <laughs> up in there. Probably, probably. Uh, well, Riley, bonbons, too. Riley, it's always fascinating to be brought into your world. I know you've had your ups, and I know you've had your downs. Yeah. Some of the guys said, when tough times, you uh, you had no air conditioning in the summer, yeah. and you had fly strips all over your apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. And it was not, right? He does. Is that right. hard to take, uh, Joyce? Well, that because that, all the windows that's... were open or something? Right. I don't know, but that that was the old place. Right. He's Just in a new well, anyway, now. even the cats didn't like it. They sensed something was bad in there. Right. So, Riley, you've had your tough times and you've mm-hmm. had your good times. Right. You could make it better, Howard, is all I'm saying, man. Riley, if I've made possible, it. If possible, give me more it, hours. Make it so. That's Can all. I just say something, Joy? Because yeah. yeah, you seem sure. to be rational. Yes. Listen. The idea of giving Riley a little show on here mm-hmm. was not so it would become his occupation, mm-hmm. but that he could introduce him to the audience in a way where he'd yeah. be on his own. And he'd have an outlet. An outlet to sell his products and things. Okay. And, okay. you know, that I would tried be, a to be a part good of his business, I, not his business. He's not a radio guy per se. He hasn't gone out on the road and proven his act, which I recommended that he does if he wants to make a career out of this. Well, that, he's d- working on that, Howard. Right. And, mm-hmm. I, and I want him mm-hmm. to do that. Mm-hmm. And I do appreciate him. And I love having him a part of it. I know you this. do. But it's it's not a. It's not like a, a business for him here. It's it's a it's a little well, it's a little promotional vehicle. It's well, a free all, all, all of the rest of your personnel that's on every day, they are radio people, and I'm not. Mm. No, it, listen. I gave you a radio show, and you do a fine job. You do a great job. I love you. I, and he but does, I was hoping this would parlay does. into something you. for you. Truly, he does. I'm not trying to keep you down. I'm trying no. to help you. I, yeah. Who else is giving you a radio show? Nobody on the planet. But I don't get a thank you, Joy. I get a fuck you. Mm. That's I what th- he does. You know, I he's, thank he's, you, Howard. He Howard. won't thank me. And you know what? Yeah. I think if you, I'm, if I'm you, the buffer if you here like for me, Tam right. and yeah. him. Right. Like you profess to do. Yes, yes. Then you would give me an opportunity to at least make minimum wage, you cheap bastard. 
No, you. But who else is giving you an opportunity to make well, anything? I mean, otherwise, look, well, what Rob well, says my he's fault. working uh, uh, late into I, the night. I, I, what, that I have work information. Pay him Robin, anything? I have information. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I have information that's implementary. Then that's the job he ought to quit. Well, yeah. I have <laughs> information, that information that's yeah. implementary to the listeners, to the people of this world. And uh, if you uh, were Riley. not so busy Riley. Uh, Riley. Uh, 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 rubbing snake oil on your ass no, 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 no. Riley. and uh, trying to be uh, cutesy poo uh, uh, and riding on the boat with them white boy, bitch. But then, uh, and, and then you would give me. It always some becomes of, racial. Yeah, check some of the information. You right. check some of the information and see that it's bearing fruit over the years since I wrote it. Riley, and therefore, I have, it I may have. be implementary for you to listen to something that I say because somebody knows something about something, Howard. Right. Riley, right. you do have you a know? great following. You I know. Do, and I, I know. gave him that. And you know what? Work with it. And because Thank that's you. it, well, you I have will, to remember, you are I, here to I get the say, message if you, out. Joy, if you work for me for seven years, uh, which will probably shortly be terminated, uh, if you work <laughs> with me for seven years, I would give you something. Okay. You understand? Okay. Uh, more right. than uh, the good point. chump change. Yeah, good yeah, point. Yeah, good point. I, I, I don't talk about that. Uh, right. the, uh, the young man today, I told him I had to take my wife off work today. Where's Tim? Uh, Wait, let me see if I can get you some more money. Even, yeah, Riley, didn't, let me see if I can get more money. He didn't today. even uh, well, agree to pay the parking. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, nothing. All right, Riley, let me see if I can. Hey, Jesus Tim. Christ. Hey, Tim, can you can Riley make a decent wage around here? <laughs> hey, man, why? Well, look, ask him, can he find... And his great magnanimous heart. Hold on. Another Tim, couple of hours a week somewhere. Can't you find in your just, great magnanimous... Where is Tim? You're screaming and tearing <laughs> off? He's drying off from the bathhouse. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Tim, what's, why are you so fucking cheap, man? Why are you treating him like a... Like, like, like a... Like a, like a, a dig of a... I'm saying, right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying that after all of this yeah, time... Man. Yeah, what the fuck is wrong indeed, with you? indeed, I have come up to measure... Has he that, measured that, that up? Has he for, measured for, up? For much of the garbage that you've been putting on. Right, let me handle this. Has yeah. he measured up? He's done a great job for us. He has. Yeah. Absolutely. Can we get him a few more bucks? All I have is, it's a one-hour show, Riley, and we talked about this a thousand times. It is what it is. We pay, you know, a, cert, a flat rate for an hour-long show. Well, give me two, give me three. That's we don't have much. additional hours. I don't have it. So what, what, what's so important... That's greater than the Riley Martin You're show. Saying you're saying knock off something fill- else. My well, rerun. No, not necessarily what I'm saying is that Riley, my you're reruns. filling it up with rerun bullshit. Yeah, yeah my reruns. But that well, means my knocking goodness, off something else. That's why people else. tune in. How would I love to listen to you uh, uh, over and over after again. 72 hours it wears kind of fucking thin <laughs> well you know? people like it I, I mean well I understand have. that uh, oh what did Joy just say Joy yeah. what did you yeah. some guy tried to jump me they'd have to kick her ass too right yeah. and things like that so she has measured out yeah you understand no and therefore uh, I've grown to deeply what? love her she's sweeter as the day go by kid do you have to give part of your paycheck to Riley because I mean he doesn't make mm-hmm. a great living we know that he complains you about it what? all the time we haven't mm-hmm. worked out yeah. where it works um, he takes care of his and I take care of mine I see well that's fair because my mm-hmm. birds my birds are very important to me um, right. Riley's like, like get rid of the birds let's eat no, them no, no, and, no, then, no. and then we can have more money those birds are gangsters I'm no telling. I do right. rescue birds that, that's important to me I've always right. had a love for birds but I'm just saying uh, yeah, Riley probably sees right. it as a money drain I mean, and, uh, and, I, and how would I rescue two cats you should that's approve that. I do that's approve right. that. and we, we have and two they, rescue cats they're both gangsters right they're gangsters too so what it is is true love because as Riley points out you're not after his money he knows you really Truly oh, yeah, yeah. love him. Absolutely, it's yeah. look, kid. That is it's worth a... more than all the treasure and the gold on the uh, face of the earth. Why are you screaming? Why no children? <laughs> why no children? Oh my gosh, I'm what? past that age. You are. I'm almost fifty nine. Yeah, but you married him. You were a young woman, weren't you? Yeah, but you know, just you didn't want. Well, we haven't been married that long. Yeah, you didn't want no. kids with Did him. Did you have kids, no. Riley? But uh, yeah, he had his own children. No, I have children. Wasn't... Yes, I have children. Right. Uh, They're my uh, children too. Howard. For some reason, go ahead. Women do not age when they're with me. Yeah. Right. Well, that's probably well, your whole basically. alien past. I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah. 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 That's very lucky. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, anyway, listen, mm-hmm. Riley. I bought my white your, son bu- your, with me. Your, your white son. By the way, Panther. we should point out that and your wife is a white woman. 
Yes, yes, and Iran McCauley is here also, the mm-hmm. great Iran, my co-host. Right. And uh, how is living know, with him? Is that fun? You live with Iran. He does. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Otherwise, Iran says what he means. Matt Panther says what he means. I say what I mean. <laughs> It's a house full of and, people uh, who say what they mean. Yeah, 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 say what they mean. But, you know, it's like... Right. It's like no uh, wonder Joy moved out. Yeah, it's like, we get along, you know. <laughs> we right. get along. But house. one time... And by the way, what do you guys mean? Yeah, in the old house, in the old house... <laughs> right. Uh, Joy, one time, I, I went to her bedroom and opened the door because I'd be working late. Right. And here she is this high off the bed, man. Now... I'm what? Thought, no. I crossed my heart. You're saying that you know, Joy was, was off levitated. the bed. Levitating. My bed levitated. was levitating and a lot of strange Joy, things. Joy, do you remember ha- levitating? Yes. You do? You mean your husband walked in the room, Riley. I was calling because well, well, it she- started out with my... <laughs> Joy, never mind that. When Riley pees in a bucket, what is that like for you as a woman? Do you say to him, Riley, for Christ's sakes, use the bathroom and stop pissing in a bucket and in a, in a jug? Do you ever say it to him? Seriously. Well, he's discreet about it. He, he is? covers himself. But for a woman, that does not. That Why do you know Riley, that? Riley. Riley. Uh, for God's son, sake. Yeah. Son, yeah. if you ever find anybody <laughs> As you get older, who Howard, loves you has happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, 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 for more than your money, Right. and I hope you have, I hope so. then you will understand life. Right. Uh, instead of because you got 42 rooms and all this shit, and you're keeping me in the shoebox if you can, you dirty bastard. Uh, <laughs> then uh, all fault? of a sudden you're going to why are uh, you keeping uh, Riley in yeah, dictate the nature <laughs> of what actual love is. This is love. You mean because your quarters are small, yeah. you have to pee in a jug in front of your wife? I don't get it. No, this is love. No, the the I'm last place where I had to climb a flight of stairs. Yeah. Now. now the new place doesn't have yeah. that. So, you so now don't he needs the jug. He uses yeah. the bathroom. He moved. His office and it just it's a you know Troy will you ever walk around nude to excite Riley do you, are you that type of woman where you're free with your body are you a hippie kind of woman you know what I mean and you'll just walk around naked no you will not <laughs> yeah. will you ever do anything to please Riley like go out of your way and uh, give him what he wants uh, no matter what what or, does Riley want yeah what does Riley <laughs> what want what does Riley want yeah, what do you want Riley sexually she, is there you know, something <laughs> she doesn't do that you want no I would say oh well actually I would say darling it is a fine day for me to uh, touch the soul of your lovely spirit. Get naked. <laughs> right. you know, like that. Mm-hmm. What when you guys when you guys are lovers though? Is there any romance because you guys have been married a long time? Or is it just like let's get it over with and do it and then, and then we're done? No, with it? no, no, no. How we would, had a lot of good times. If you, on the road. you get to the point yeah. where yeah. where making love is no long no longer a, a, a spiritual a, a deep loving yeah. treat, right? Then quit. Right, yeah. right. Good, good, you know, good yeah. advice. Yeah. Good yeah. advice. Yeah. Yes, Gary. Yeah. Yes. Jason was telling me an interesting story. I guess he went out to the house once, and he said he was sitting around w- talking with Joy and Riley, and they were walking around. And there were some pictures on the wall, and I said, "What are these?" And Joy goes, "Oh, these are representations of the children that uh, Riley has had with some of the Biavians. Oh, her stepchildren. Who drew those? Oh, I, I draw it. In fact, in oh, fact, they right. Howard. They were in the Howard. Place. Tell the listeners to go to Amazon." And buy my Kindle book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, now, the coming, now the coming of Tan the is coming now of Tan on Kindle. Am, yeah, on Kindle. So uh-huh. you can get it electronically, your book. Yeah, yes, you can get it electronically now, and it's cheap. And if I go to Amazon.com, I write in the coming of Tan, and it'll come up, and then I oh, can just, order you it. Know, just go there and say Riley, Riley Martin. Riley Martin. Yeah, yeah, yeah it. it, it'll come up. Well, that's simple. Mm, I yeah. mean, that's it. Uh, there's a man on the phone who claims he is the real Riley Martin and wants to speak to us. Let's talk <laughs> okay. to him. Okay. Okay, Riley, go ahead. Hey, man. Hey. I gotta tell you, son. Go your ahead. Act is a piece of shit. What? Oh, wow, 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 wow. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. In we're, fact, we're, be so kind to stay the fuck out of my face forever. You sorry motherfucker. Uh, Riley, whoever you are, I'm sitting here with the real Riley, so I don't know uh-huh. who you are. I, I said I don't know who you are. Huh? I said I don't know who you are. Huh? <laughs> How many times I gotta say I don't know who you are? Oh. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Riley. All right. I think you're the real Riley, uh, for whatever it's worth. Yes, Riley's book, The Coming of Tan, is now available for download yeah. on the Kindle. Mm-hmm. For more information, you go to RileyMartin.com. Right. And Howard, of course, they can always go to RileyMartin.com and get the hard copy. That's right. Uh, and what have you, RileyMartin.com. Also, they can t- uh, Twitter me. Twi- but Joy, the first the- time you made love to him, were you shocked by the size of his penis? 
Howard, I'm not even going to answer that question. Oh, you know, you have to. You have no, to. I don't Riley, have to. Riley wants you to. Uh, I can see uh, with Are some, you big? some type of an authority that she must have been a bit shocked. Right. <laughs> are you Are you thick and big, Riley? I picture you. Oh, uh, uh, Howard. Well, Howard, I would... I would uh, with the deep voice, I imagine big balls. Uh, a think of what you got in Dublin. I, that's sad. Well, that's that's that ain't much. a lot. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> is he is he a great lover, Riley? Uh, honestly, and is he the biggest man you ever had uh, sexually? That uh, no. you know that really doesn't, doesn't Howard, necessarily apply, Howard. You know you don't have to be have big to and all to be a great lover. Right. However, yeah. However, love is more. Uh, than a simple uh, marathon. Yeah. Uh, love. It, it love. Goes a man's the joy. Flesh. Stop yeah. it. it. Sometimes yeah. it comes down yeah. to physical yeah. equipment. A man's, and muscles, a oh. man's oh. bravado is, it, it should not, not be measured by is he a great his strength, lover? but by his tenderness. Yes. He is. Yes. Would love. you say it he's goes, bigger than nine inches? No, I, I'm not even talking about inches? any of that. I'm just talking about the spiritual aspect. Right. Well, you're a school teacher. You can't talk about that kind of stuff. Absolutely not. Right. Well, I respect that. Yeah, and, uh, and how would you, 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 you would do you well to give her some type of respect? Yeah, it. of course. <laughs> yeah. Well, spiritually, I, I think no. he's nine inches, at least spiritually. Oh. No. Yes. You go beyond that. So it is a marriage not of convenience. It is a real marriage, a growing yes. marriage. What could be oh, convenient yes. about it? Yeah, what could, yeah well, right. She now, married me for my money. Now, don't you think Riley complains too much to me about money? Oh, they, shouldn't shit. he leave the show uh, if he... Uh, okay. uh, Seriously, Who else Joy? has worked for you for seven years and didn't but get Riley, a cost of living nothing? Let me talk to your wife because she seems to okay. make sense. That's what I'm She's saying. a smart woman. Are you going to me. tell me? I'm going to tell you. Joy. Maybe she can talk some sense to you. I gave Riley this show because I, I actually like Riley a lot. I know you do. But I like not, you. I appreciate yeah, but that. But it's not the kind of show where I thought Riley could get on and sell his trinkets and such. And his and, books. And get some publicity for himself. If he really wants to go out and make a living off of this thing, he would have to go to a terrestrial radio station and acquire a big audience and do this kind of thing. It was well, supposed I to mean, be an adjunct. Uh, it was according, supposed to be the thing. I have ascertained that I do have a very large audience out, though you would Which never tell does. me. If he does, yeah, then, though you would never tell then me. with my blessing. Go you should go somewhere else. And exploit it. Yeah, well, that's okay. All you got to do is send me the pink slip and say, right, I'm not going to send you a pink slip. I Riley, like you on I don't there. want them okay. to send you. And now, look, this is one thing I want to ask you. After Joy, am I making any sense no, here? No, no. After no, you are, Howard. Yeah, after six uh, years. Uh, Riley. After six Joy years. Joy just said I'm it. asking okay. you, give me two more hours per week. That's three hours a week at your That's discretion. That's too much. More. It's yeah. too much, Riley. No, no, well, my goodness. It's if a, you paid me the Riley, equivalent, son, I would, I would be fine the with the one going. hour. You are a, a, you're a, um, a spice, a spice. Yeah, the uh, a spice show. Yeah, the cost of living, everything. Right. No, no, has, no. Uh, has going up thirty percent since the, since I got here. The amount of so you're hard timing me because I'm spice, right? Listen to me. Riley. It's, I'm not doing this you to punish you. Fucking cheap punk. I'm trying oh, to tell God. you, Riley. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, I'm not doing this to punish you. Well, I thought I mean, it would be a well, fun little show. It's not supposed living. to be a living. It's not supposed to be a living. It's Why just should a fun, it not be? It's a fun thing for you. <clears throat> Why I, should it not be? I'm giving information here that may you really, save your cheap you ass. Riley, are you well, really happy with the way the show is going? Oh, I'm happy with uh, the audience and everything, Robin. You are. Nonetheless. 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 Uh, I would think that after all of this time, you would uh, make it so that I could actually uh, make a stipend that would give me a fairly decent living after all of this time, providing I meet with your approval. Joy, That's I like all that, I'm saying. I like that you are able to calm Riley down. Yeah. I see you keep calling, yeah. Riley, calm down, calm Riley. down. Why calm him down? I think he's fun when he's on fire, <laughs> personally. Uh, what, what, does he walk around the house angry a lot about the show? <sighs> <laughs> I mean, what is on Riley's mind? I don't see that part. I walk out because <laughs> I, I don't like all that stress. <laughs> How much <laughs> of the day does he run around screaming about the show? And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are times I see it, but I'm able to walk out the door to go to my own place. Right. Thank I'll, God. Oh, you heard my bird screaming. Right. <laughs> it was Damien. <laughs> That's really Damien. <laughs> I mean, you're a lovely, beautiful woman. I mean, you could get oh. any guy. I mean, you are That's turned on by this guy. I mean, it's wild. Oh, my gosh. I am. I haven't even heard no, what wait it was like the you, first time she met him. I mean, yes, did, she, you have did to Riley understand look what, like thank you, uh, thank you, Robin. The, did you run out of the room? Or? <laughs> well, 
it, uh, the mm. um, the meeting was arranged through his former publisher, I and see. I remember going to the where uh, <laughs> Curtis lived, <laughs> and I saw Riley sitting with his his Indian headband, his staff, and, and his he band. was looking out at the river, and he stood up and he came over to me and he hugged me, I, and I know what when he said. He hugged me. No, no, no. It was a feeling that I have always known him. And it was when the most Riley hugged you, powerful feeling I've ever felt in my life. It's really? like I've, I felt like I, I've always known him. Riley, wow. come here and hug me. <laughs> Maybe yeah, that'll let's help. See how I well, that, that was feeling. that if was I it. Hug you, I got to lift your wallet, you <laughs> cheap bastard. <laughs> 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 so yes, no, yeah, right. no, so it was. It's you're saying you hugged Riley and you felt no, like he hugged me, right. well, that's and what I, I just felt. Uh, like I've always known him or I felt like I've known him. When a feeling is that powerful, I imagine it doesn't take long for him to seduce you, which I'm jealous. I mean, I can imagine making love to you is beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you guess you I'm never serious. left him once you no, right. I didn't. got that yeah. hug. Oh, he wasn't letting That's go of her, let me it. tell you. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a job. Otherwise, she, so, look, <laughs> she's, made, she's made her bones. She's yeah, been up and down yeah. the road. I've been up and down the road with him. What does yeah. that mean? What, uh, what, what are the bad is times? What we, is the worst? We, we have okay. We have slept in oh four star, bags. four star hotel. Then we have slept in sleeping, sleeping bags, bags. Ate oh. pork and beans from the can, caught fish from the river, and on top of that, if 